Consumers were not happy with the hikes in food prices. Because it's raining, what does the rain have to do with the shortage of abenkwa? The explanation is that when it's raining, they typically wouldn't climb to harvest the palm nut because they're saying that it's, uh, there may be snakes on, on the palm nut tree. So that's why it, it, you tend to get this experience where the palm nut or the price of palm nut will go up when it's raining. The Chamber of Agriculture said the situation may even get worse. Early part of next year, we're going to have challenges with our food systems. So we we'll need to, is to make sure that we've stored enough food across the country. They therefore made this request. If you go to the borderlands, okay, in the northern regions, in the BA area, in the water area, you've seen a number of warehouses that have spring up. Food staffs were taken out of the country arbitrarily without any permission. We do not have any security system. Nobody is being stopped. Why are you taking this food out of this country? Who has signed for it? Who has permitted you? And these food stuff have been stored in those uh, border towns and they are now being imported back into their country and be sold to us at the very high prices. The Agri Ministry had this assurance. The security agencies around the borders are not going to allow anybody to cross with food stuff. Popular preacher and head pastor of the Glorious Word Power Ministries International, Reverend Isaac Usubempa and three others were arrested for creating and circulating multiple videos containing threats and the brandishing of a weapon as well as assault on some police personnel. Over the creation and circulation of multiple videos containing threats and brandishing of weapons and the assault of some police personnel. They were charged with offensive conduct conducive to breach of peace, the threat of death and the assault of public officers. With offensive conduct conducive to the breach of peace and threat of death. The West African Examination Council had to cancel some WASI papers and also sanction some invigilators. The council would deploy various internationally accepted assessment procedures and interventions within its domain to guarantee the credibility of results. Consequently, those found culpable will be sanctioned. Then risk scheduling offices two and one and business management two and one papers. The office has rescheduled the phases two and one and business management two and one papers originally scheduled for today, Wednesday, 15 September 2021. Here is the communique issued at the end of an extraordinary ECOWAS summit in Accra in a bid to resolve the political instability in Guinea. They said it in September 8th and they repeat it again today. President Conde must be free without any condition and be immediately free, released by the military. The second thing they said was to reaffirm very firmly the condemnation of the coup d'etat because as I said and explained, we do not accept coup d'etat in ECOWAS, community protocols. In addition to those two things, two decisions Looking now at the political situation and the way forward. Some experts think the sanctions will not work. At the time, it's too short for such an arrangement. Because if you are talking about an overthrow of uh, a constitutional regime and you want a restoration in terms of what military disengagement, the process is not that easy because you need to get the basics right so that uh, you don't have problems uh, as you go along. Um, where I stand as a coach, you might not know what, what I know about the game, okay? And so I can understand. Listen, the fact that we scored one goal, the question is, do we create chances to score? Yes, I say yes. This same squad in our, in our few friendly matches that we played against Qatar, we scored five goals. So it is not a situation where we cannot score goals. Maybe now it, it, it looks like that, but 
I still don't believe that we can score goals. That was the coach of the Black Stars, but he doesn't hold the position anymore because he was sacked by the Ghana Football Association. If we are any serious people, we don't need a local coach now. Here's what you thought of it. Actually, what I think about the sacking of Siki Akono as a person from Ghana would have to be the fact that for us as people that pay tax to the government, it would be good for us going into this Afghan tournament and also in qualification to the World Cup. And then if it's good for us, that means that we are finding a good replacement that is very good than CK Akonon. The, foreign, the foreigners carried us and we played very well, played in the semi-final of the Afghan for most of the year. So I think that is the way we should go, go and appoint a foreign coach. Because that's the way we've proven that we can play well. And that's a wrap of the week with me, Hannah Odami.